If you've ever lived in or remodeled a house built before about 1980, you probably recognize this unit. It's an electric air handler and it's designed to both heat and cool your home through a ducted system. This thing was state of the art and worked great in temperate climates. Take a little closer look. As you can see, this is a 2.5 ton unit. The problem with these old compressors is that they operate at one speed which makes them louder and less efficient. Now new models have variable speed motors and other inverter technology that makes them much more energy efficient and much quieter. We spoke to our friend Ken over at LG and asked him to fill us in on all the latest innovations and upgrades that make air handlers relevant again. This video is going to show you how variable speed air handlers can be a great solution for almost any heating and cooling situation. Um, it was widely known that in the 50s as these heat pumps were first adopted or, or designed by Westinghouse Corp back in the day, um, they were very limited in what they could do from a heating perspective. As the outdoor ambient uh, uh, showed down, you couldn't, it was very troubling to get more heat out of the outside air and into the building. And at some point there was a backlash because the, the builders went heavy into the technology thinking this was going to be a big solution for even in the moderate or northern climates that you could use this technology. Well, unfortunately, they always had an electric bank of resistance heating inside the unit that they, they have available for either a, a support backup when the heat pump couldn't make enough heat. You know, that's the most costly form of electric of, of heating you can have in the United States. So if you rely too much on that electric backup, you get a very high electric bill for the consumer. The builder gets blamed for putting in cheap stuff and they get burned on the whole deal and they say, no, we're going to go back to the old one. But what's occurred over the last 30 years as we've um, really gotten strong in getting the maximum heat transfer we can get out of, a, of a, out of a heat pump, there's not many builders today, unless you're in northern Vermont, you're on the Canadian border or northern Maine, where consumers feel it's acceptable not to have some air movement product in their house. And I mean air conditioning, to be honest with you. That's really the bottom line. If you have it in your car, you have it in your office, you're gonna want it in your house. So now I've got two potential sources of heat. If I use the LG inverter outdoor unit for a heat pump, I can use it not only for air conditioning or as the primary heat system or as a hybrid of both. So this system is smart enough now to actually spin up and it'll continue to deliver the CFM that's required to be delivered to the space. And it'll actually adjust for the static pressure changes in the system. Everything we do is electric, okay? We do, um, so because of that, we can participate in the bigger scheme of, of strategic electrification in the United States, I think, which is huge. With new motors, heat pump technology, and the ability to perform efficiently in hot or cold temperatures, new air handlers such as the VAHU from LG are the perfect solution for almost any project.